Cinco Petra now has a visual demonstration for the subscribers. We could show the actual torque measurements, but this is quicker and more visual. We have a device with five definite cogging points, five places where rotor and stator magnets are engaged. In support of energy conservation, I absolutely agree that the energy to engage magnets is exactly the same as the energy to disengage them. Yesterday's motors turned off while magnetic fields were disengaging, sacrificing some of the stored energy. This made torsion forces asymmetrical and enabled, or caused, the motors to spin. It is the fundamental requirement of a motor. Let's see if what we have is symmetrical torsion or asymmetrical torsion. We have a crude but easily adjusted eccentric mass. Does our motor produce enough torque to support the mass? Nope, way too much mass or way too much radius. Surprise, surprise. Let's try the other side. Wow, look at that. More than enough torque on this side. Not enough? We'll add more. Plenty. But there is a limit. the inertia thing. So how does it work? It is very, very simple. If you listened at the beginning, you could hear clicking as the device cogged. In this position, the magnets are disengaging at a large radius. On the other side, disengagement was at a smaller radius. The clicking is related to shifting the field between the different radii. You be the judge. Is it asymmetric? Has a fundamental requirement for a free energy magnet motor been met? The next model, or the one after, will spin while producing this net torque difference. Unfortunately, none of our investment candidates will allow it to be shown in this venue. We might now need candidates with a different perspective.